um, well, it could be. So, um, the T should be somewhere in the middle, I, I guess, and we should... 11, 11 sounds alright, isn't it? And the T should probably be right next to the 24, so that they can split together into a more, more medium number. Um, this is this is pretty close. 13, 12, and 11, in it. What if I switch up these two? Well, almost 11, 11. Now I need to lower this number by two. Ah. God, I'm so bad at math. Okay, um... <gasps> I don't know how I did it, but it's 12, 12, 12. Okay, that means it's... it it Wherever the robber is, it should be the same number reaching the end of town. Hopefully it's 50. I'm, I'm gonna count. Uh, it's 11 plus 12, uh, which is 23. Plus 12, which is 30. 35 plus 15 which is for 50 it's 50 guys I made it I used the thing inside my skull and I came to a conclusion which I can't quite explain to you but there we go oh, there was the robot on the last part Yeah. I'm a top agent. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That should get everybody in town on the lookout for Daryl. I doubt it in this town. People disappear all the time in Skagans. Nobody even notices anymore. There have been other missing people? Plenty others. Even that researcher over at the campground had his buddy go missing just last week. Hmm. Do you know where I could... He's got a trailer at the Wallows campground. Name's Alfred uh, something or other. Have fun, Mr. FBI. Try looking for my brother while you're at it. It sounds like Isaac Davner is just one of many missing people around Scoggins. The cases might all be related. I'm heading to the Wallows to ask a researcher there about his missing friend. Uh, and look for Daryl's brother, of course. So, apart from our first little hiccup, this is going quite swell. Now, we have two indicators, uh, first the camping grounds and the other one was um, uh, somewhere in the woods, past Sesame Woods or, or something like that. So we will get on our motorbike and see what's up there. Oh, we still got the map, that's neat. Over here are the campgrounds and uh, I don't see the woods that Daryl mentioned. Guess we're just going for the campgrounds then. I already saw you over here. And you. We should be at 20 now. Any other gums? Please show yourself. No, I don't see it. Okay, can't click on that. That fire pit hasn't been used since the last thaw. Assuming this place ever thaws. Number 33, let's talk to this guy. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a researcher. You found one. I'm Special Agent Tethers with the FBI Puzzle Research Division, Dr. Verstecht. But that's my father's name. Call me Alfred. I'm doing anthropological research here in Scoggins. I'm a student of mankind. Right, his name is Versteckt, uh, which is German um, and means hidden. Someone in town said your friend had gone missing? Friend? Oh, yes, they must be talking about my graduate student, Will Medlock. 
Very bright young man. Disappeared, oh, when was that? Two months ago? That was before the incident at the eraser factory. But no one mentioned it before. Can't say I'm surprised. Local law enforcement was no help. Yes, I I've met the local law enforcement. People here are more interested in puzzles than missing people. Give me more intel. Is there anything else you can tell me about this missing grad student, Will? Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if spending time in Scoggins was starting to have an effect on him. How do you mean? He became unfocused. Talked about nightmares and whispers. I didn't think much of it at the time. He walked away in the middle of one of my discussions about the transformative power of myth and legend. I thought he was just bored, but I never saw him again. What is an anthropologist doing in Scoggins, Minnesota? Same thing an anthropologist does anywhere else. I'm studying people. The people of Scoggins? Is there enough to study? Oh my, yes. The shared reality made by the people and their folklore. I've been here for years, and I've just barely scratched the surface. Don't you get the sense that this is a town on the cusp of something big? Their folklore, their fascination with puzzles. It's as if the energy of thought is being transformed into solving one of the great problems of our age. Oh, okay. How long have you been here in Scoggins? Well, let's see, about 15 years? I'm on my eighth government grant. Okay. Do you know anything about the missing factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Ah, yes. Fascinating story, that. A real suburban myth in the making. To the people of Scoggins, he's the archetype of the martyr. The ritual sacrifice made as an attempt to assert control over capricious nature. Wait a second. Davner is not a myth. He's a real person. I've met him. Myths are real, Agent Tethers. We're all characters playing roles. The hero in a quest for truth. The wise, mysterious sage who serves as his guide. Wise. Right. You must know something about the local stories, about gnomes? The hidden people? Well, of course. They're the ones who brought me here in the first place. I'm studying the myth and worship of the hidden people. Oh, then you've dealt with that cult, the Brotherhood of Scoggins. Oh my, yes. Frightfully mad, all of them. Be careful, Agent Tethers. Their devotion to the hidden people makes them extremely driven and extremely dangerous. Thanks for your time, Alfred. If you hear any more about Isaac Davner or your missing friend, please let me know. I've just spoken with a mild-mannered but extremely driven agent from the FBI. He was looking for information about the hidden people and the rash of disappearances in the area, including young Wills. Of course, if he's investigating a missing persons case, he'd best talk to Sheriff Bogg. The sheriff may not be helpful, but he is the one man in town with information about all the missing residents. What he said. <laughs> Great, awesome. Let's drive back. And we are going to the sheriff station, um, which, as you can see, is now colored in red, so we might go there. I'm finally desperate enough to visit Sheriff Boggs' office, but he's already working against me. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. Yeah, the Moose Ear Diner is the only way in town, uh, the only spot in town where you can eat the only type of restaurant. And from the last game, I remember that Nelson didn't have quite such a pleasant encounter with Sheriff Bog. Now, I wonder if I can actually do anything here. Can't click on that. It's too, it's too dark, really. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. Right, we already knew that. 
there's nothing over here I can get on my snow bike. Yeah, there really is nothing I can do. Let's head over there. Check for gum over at the police station. I didn't see any. There's one here. We are at 21, so we should be nearing the, the maximum, I guess. It's quite a lot. Daryl's disappearance has got to be tied into all of this somehow. Yeah, definitely. Oh. There, there was a riddle there that I didn't even notice. Okay. Um, power grid. Between the five generators, power all devices using every available power outlet. Generators will evenly split power if used twice. Each device must be powered exactly to their power needs. Let's see, this one needs ten. Wait, no. Wait. What? Between the five generators, power all devices using... Okay, um, these are the devices and these are the generators. Um, okay, okay. And if I connect both spots here, then it will go out five and five. But if I use both on on one, then it goes, of course, ten. Ten energy units, whatever, uh, over there. So, um, let's see. We got fifty, so of course, obviously, how could it be any different over there? So, like this, and like this. So, this now gives 25 to each, so we only need five more over here. There, and we need 25, um, 20 more over here. This one is set as well. This has still 15 left in it. 15. 15? 15? Oh, I did with that. Okay. Now we only need this. But since we have to use all the power outlets, we have to connect them like this. Okay, let's check this. I don't want to fail this. 15 from over here. The other 15 are going over here. So this already has 15. Uh, we are taking 5 from over here, we are at 20, and 25 from over here, which is 45. You still have 25 left, but you are giving to this guy, he needs the other 5 from over here. And this gets um, 10 from over here, and th yeah, that should work, it should work. Yay! I'm still doubting myself. 